Hi, I'm Miss Young. Today we're going to do an art activity and I'm going to show you how to make a lion. So you're going to need a few materials. You're going to need some scissors, a marker or a black pen, some glue, and a small container to catch your pieces of paper. I've used a cooking light magazine that I had here at home, and you can use any other type of magazine. I've already torn out some of the colorful pictures, and then you're going to cut them into strips. Once you cut them into strips, you're going to cut them into even smaller pieces like this. I have a container here so that I won't drop them all over my floor. You're going to need three colors of paper. You're going to need brown, white, and yellow. If you don't have these colors, feel free to color it with a marker or with a uh, coloring pencil or anything else that you may have there, like crayons. You're also going to need a large piece of paper like this. This is a piece of manila paper, or you can use a piece of paper like this. This is a piece of paper that came out of a shirt that I bought. I like it because it's thicker than the other. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my yellow and I'm going to draw a large circle. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like a circle because mine doesn't either. And then I'm going to draw a long trapezoid. A trapezoid has two lines that are the same here and here, then it has a long side and a short side. It's a trapezoid. After that, I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to be very careful when using my scissors because I don't want to accidentally cut my hand or anything else. There's my circle and I'm gonna cut out my trapezoid. Now, I'm also going to use a small strip to make a tail for my lion. It doesn't have to be very big at all. I'm going to use some glue and remember when using glue a little dab will do you you don't need too much and I'm going to glue my lion's head at the very top of my paper and I'm going to glue the trapezoid right underneath remember to press it down because we don't want it to come up I'm also going to go ahead and put some glue on his tail and I'm going to glue it right at the bottom of my trapezoid like so. I think he needs just a little more. There we go. Next. I'm going to use my white paper. I used an envelope because I didn't have any white paper at home. So I'm going to draw two, a circle on my envelope and cut it out. And when I cut it out, there will be two pieces. My other piece fell off, so I'm going to cut it. I have to finish cutting out that circle. Then I'm going to draw two black circles in the middle of those eyes so that he'll have eyeballs. And put two dabs of glue at the top of his circle head. And glue on the eyeballs. It's okay if they don't match perfectly. Next, I'm going to use some brown.
And I, after I use the brim, I'm gonna make a, an oval. Remember an oval looks like an egg and I'm going to make a triangle. The triangle will be used for his nose and the oval will be used for his feet. I'm going to cut those out. That's the triangle. Next is the oval. I'm going to cut the oval in half so that it forms two pieces. I'm going to put some glue at some glue at the bottom and two dots. And those two pieces of the oval will become his feet. I will use the triangle to go on his face in the middle. I'm gonna make my triangle look a little bit upside down with the big end at the top. Trying to make it stay, so I'm pressing it with the glue. With my marker, I'm gonna make him kind of smile, so I'm gonna draw a line down, curve a smile, Go back to that spot, line down, curve to make a smile, like so. Then I'm gonna make three lines so that you'll have some whiskers because most big cats have whiskers, like so. There's one thing missing from this lion and it's all of his hair. So I'm going to make lines all the way around his head top and bottom, even on the trapezoid. And I'm gonna use the magazine pieces that I cut out to, to make his hair. One strip at a time. If you would like for your hair to curl a little bit, hold it in one hand, use your fingernail and scratch it upwards and it makes it curve like so, and he can have a curly head of hair. You'll use this and go all the way around his head. And at the end, your lion will look like this. All done. Have fun.